Okay, so uh, in this video we're going to look at some 1990 pails and reels. Um, I'm going to show you how to set up for 1990 position. Um, we're going to be using 1990 a lot in our training, so we'll get used to it. Um, so our basic 1990 hold is kind of going to look like this. So we're looking for 90 degree bend on the back leg. 90 degree bend on the leading leg as well. And as you can see, the leading leg is in external rotation, back leg is in internal rotation, and this is what we're gonna be training today, is this internal rotation, all right? Now, when we're setting up for 90-90 position, as you can see here currently, my belly button is kinda of pointed in this direction, the space of my foot, that's not what I want. What I'm looking for is my torso upright and my belly button pointed towards the leading leg, so it's going towards the leg, it's externally rotated. Already I may feel a bit of a stretch on this, uh, on this back leg, on this left leg. Now, as you can see from here, I can, I can still produce a little more internal rotation on that leg without decreasing the angle. If I decrease the angle, I can get even more internal rotation. Now, because we're training peels and reels, we want to kind of bring it close to our passive end range. So what I'm going to have you do is we're, we're going to get your yoga block and we're going to elevate the back foot. So as you can see, because I've elevated the back foot, I've got even more internal rotation on the left leg. Then what I'm going to do from here is bring myself up in the, my tall position. Okay, I'm all ready. I can start to feel a bit of a cramp on that left hip. That's okay. Again, that's just neurological confusion. The body will adapt to that after a win. If you are experiencing a cramp, it's just the body's not used to being in that position. So we're gonna hold this here passively for two minutes. Once we've held this passive position for two minutes, then I'm gonna actively push down towards the opening angle on this left leg. I'm gonna hold that for 15 to 20 seconds. Once I've held that position, then I'm gonna actively lift uh, I'm going to actively lift this back foot up towards the ceiling. Again, you're going to feel a real cramp on that hip if you're doing it correctly. Hold that for 15 to 20 seconds, and then we're just going to relax and passively hold that position. If you do exper uh, experience some cramping there, it's completely okay. Shake it off, reset again, and like I said, the body will adapt to that. 